Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, then consider subscribing. Today's Praxis content is going to be covering five foods that contain high levels of EPA and DHA omega-3 fatty acids. So that is eicosapentaenoic acid as well as docosahexaenoic acid. Those are quite a mouthful to say, but they're always kind of fun to say, so I throw them in there. So EPA and DHA are the ones that are typically missing from a normal diet. We tend to have, especially in the Western culture, tend to have high omega-6 fatty acids and omega-3s are a good way to balance that out, that ratio between. And of course, there's some debate on if that ratio really matters, but I digress, that is not the point of this particular video. So assuming that omega-3 fatty acids are something that you want to increase in your diet, these five foods have high levels of both of these. Just to get one thing out of the way, all five of these foods are seafood based because it seems like most omega-3 fatty acids come from seafood. You can get it from other sources as well, but these particular ones are going to be seafood. So the first one is anchovies. Now anchovies have 1300 milligrams of DHA and 760 milligrams of EPA. That is among the highest in terms of recording EPA and DHA levels, so it's incredibly rich in both of them, but certainly DHA especially. The next one comes in two factors, so there's salmon, but it can be wild caught or it can be farmed, and surprisingly enough, you're going to get different levels of each, of EPA and DHA, depending on which one you get. So for farmed salmon, you get 860 milligrams of DHA and 1100 milligrams of EPA. However, when you look at wild caught salmon, you get about half of the DHA and you get a little bit more, about 1400 milligrams when it comes to the EPA. So kind of an interesting difference between those two, but I'm gonna count those as one category. So the next is the herring. So if you wanna have herring, it contains 900 milligrams of DHA and about 1100 milligrams of EPA. The next one is mackerel, and mackerel contains 500 milligrams of DHA and 700 milligrams of EPA. And the final one is mussels, and I'm not talking about the mussels that are on our body, I'm talking about the food that we ingest or the uh, seafood that we ingest. I decided to go with something that wasn't necessarily a fish, just like all the other ones have been, so I wanted to switch things up slightly. So mussels contain 275 milligrams of DHA and about 500 milligrams of EPA. And now all those values are based off of 100 grams standard. So if you consume 100 grams of each one of these foods, that is the amount of each DHA and EPA that you will receive from those foods. So hopefully that was informative, hopefully you got something out of it, and I hope that I have the pleasure of speaking with you in the next one. Have a good one guys, bye.